Mr. Breeze and welcome to my channel about music, good musicians and their brilliant creations. Okay, so today is a creative laboratory episode and today we are taking a look at a fan made suggestion and yeah, it's Celine Dion's Flying On My Own. It's a really cool kind of disco theme song, kind of like that and I listened to it and I really liked it. Thank you very much. And so today I am giving my opinions on it. I really hope you enjoy. So I've got the, the song right here. As you see, I've got the chords as well. Okay, the chords. Kind of like that. Well, let's get on with it. Okay, so he's cheering. So the song starts with B minor. It's B minor. The key in which this piece is in. And then it goes just a it's just a four chord progression. B minor, G, A, and F sharp minor. Just repeated until the end. Literally, it's just that. Uh so this is tonic. Then it goes to the sixth, which is no, it's not the super tonic. I think it's this something median. We got the uh, the seventh degree, and then the the dominant, which is minor, which always you which is always used in minor key songs. It's commonly used in minor key songs. It's not. It's they don't do they use that they use that because this mostly relates to classical music like tonic so dominant and tonic so pop music just decided to kind of get rid of that thing and put it in octave uh, 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 minus second lower. So now it's, this chord progression is really normal, not in like the 16th century or something. In the like bath time, it will probably sound like this. But mostly it's like pop based. Because, yeah, this music is pop. As you see, we get on to the verse. There's something shifting in the air. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, kind of like that. So there's something shifting in the air. It means there's kind of something in the air. Uh, if 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 I don't do any mistakes, like if I don't say it wrong, kind of like that. The dust is clearing everywhere. Next. Dust is clearing everywhere. I'm I'm playing this chord progression because it's everywhere. You might not notice, but this progression is really everywhere with your song. So the dust is clearing everywhere. Again. And there's the pre chorus, which is a really interesting place here. Of course, the chords are the same. So it's which doesn't really mix if you. And then we put the E, which makes it a a six chord, which is really interesting. My feet on. I'm gonna play it on the piano. Doesn't sound quite nice. Well, this is a really nice chord. 
chord, as I told you earlier. It's a dominant seventh chord, but just it's lowered, so it would sound kind of more beautiful. So my feet on the runway. It's a beautiful day. However, as you hear in Celine Dion's song, it doesn't sound like this dissonance over here in the A minor, A major chord. It doesn't sound dissonant. And let me tell you the secret. As that's because it's half speaking, half singing. So if you listen carefully. She like sings with a, with a, it's a beautiful day, kind of like that, but I'm just imitating it, I'm not good at doing things like that. Just hear that once again. And that's also because... It, it's not like da 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 It's the the A chord is kind of cut off. Up oh, my feet on the runway. It's a beautiful day. As you hear, it's kind of like yeah, it's really weird, but but that's just genius. I think here. Now, I love this part. It's a chorus, and just scroll up a little bit so you can see the word chorus here. So I look to. Uh, wait, no. Oh, it's a pre chorus. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> My feet on the runway. It's a beauty. Again. Again. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 we went through this. I'm flying on my own. So, Cindy on holds the B. And that is the most commonly used when the chords have the same notes in it. So for, for example, B minor and G both have the, the notes B in it. So, basically, it goes, I'm flying on my own, and it sounds nice. However, if you hold that on a note, for example, D, it will also sound nice because you can hear that there's the D note in the B minor chord and in the G chord. Listen. So if I, for example, say, I'm flying on my own, it will also sound nice. However, if I hold it either on S sharp or G, it wouldn't sound that nice. I'm flying on my own. But still, Cinderella picks a really nice note. I don't know if she composed it, but okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm my way. I'm my way. I'm on my way. However, on G, she switches to A. So I'm flying on my own on the wings of your. Uh, I don't know why she does that actually. <laughs> That's really weird. Oh no, oh no, I'm flying on my own on the wings of your love, on the wings of your gentle love. Flying on my and just repeat so 
more time. And here is what some people call the drop. Where it just starts kind of the most important part of the song like that. Uh, I'm, I'm flying on my own. And then there's kind of like, uh, I don't know how it's called. Like, the secret voice kind of. I don't know how to, I don't know how to say it. So I'm flying on my own on the wings of your love. Because remember, the last phrase we saw is on the wings of your love. So it just kind of interpreted it in here. That's cool. There we go back to the verse. The woman with again. The woman with will carry me. Again, we get the thing. But now let's talk about the lyrics because we already talked about the chords and we don't want to do that one more time, right? The woman with will carry me anywhere I want them to. It's, it sounds like kind of she controls the weather. That's weird, is it? Okay. Uh, if you could see what I can see, that's nothing blocking my view. So, she says that that nothing's blocking her view, because, yeah, because she controls the weather and she can't. I, I, I don't know, actually. <laughs> that is so weird. Anyway. Hey. However, now in the pre-chorus, Slim Dion gets that pre-chorus, like in the last pre-chorus, but shortens it by two times. For example, if we take a look at the last pre-chorus, my feet on the runway, it's a beautiful day, there's two more. I look to the sky now, I'm finding my way, but here, it's just literally, I look to the sky now, it's a beautiful day, and we go to the court. I'm flying on my own. And that's actually pretty cool. Uh, it just shortens it, uh, Celine Dion shortens it, because to make the song shorter and not just bore everyone. I already told that, like, so many times in my videos about songs. That is, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> also kind of like a variation. Again, I've told that already a lot of times in my videos. Variation. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I'm flying on my own. For example. It's a beautiful day. But here, it's... Normal is I uh, but here it's a variation.
And this is the bridge, which some people, as well as me, call the middle eight. It's where something changes in the song. It's not like it goes verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and then and the song ends. So we're a different part as well. So it's the bridge. And, and as well, it's called the middle eight. Uh, so let me just kind of... I'm going to type that in. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm on free like any. Again, I'm free. This sep. Se I don't know how it's called. That immediately, can you help me? Uh, the seventh chord, that's how it's called. I'm free like it. Again, that's really interesting because so like an ego in the winds. If it's as though as she has like a little bit of struggle. I'm free like an ego, so like an ego. It's not I'm free like an ego, so like an ego, telling the winds of change. It's a little bit with kind of delay you can say like that. I'm free like an eagle, maybe not that, but I'm free like an eagle, so like an eagle, stand in the winds of change, you can, if you can listen. And just and then it just repeats on the winds of change, on the winds of change. And we get to the pre-chorus. I'm just listening to that part. On the winds of change, my feet on the pre-chorus day. It's a beautiful day. Again, this doesn't like shorten it half. It's just the normal song. That rhythm, like to the to getting to the drop, that is really popular. Like, that is really popular, and it's used in this song. get to the chorus again but this chorus is different it's the final chorus and then there's the outro so we need to change something right well here it goes the first two lines are normal however this funny right I mean my singing is funny not like so the only thing is funny. well that's the interesting part I'm flying on my Again, it's giving more power and speed, however, it does not accelerate. And it gives the viewers kind of thinking what will happen after that. Uh, so I'm flying on my, flying on my, flying on my own, flying on my own, baby, yeah, yeah. And it just repeats.
repeats one more time. Flying on my own. And there's the outro. And then there's the lyric repeating in these secret voices. I look to the sky now. Look to the sky now. And Celine Dion just repeats, flying on my own, flying on the winds of change, flying on my own in the winds of change. And just kind of... Flying on my own. The winds of change. And then it just lost. Flying on my own. And then it ends with... This awesome chord. I really love it. I hope you enjoyed my my opinion on Celine Dion's Flying On My Own, Love From Las Vegas. It's a really good song and thank you very much for giving, giving me the opportunity to give my opinion on it. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have any idea what what else song should I put, should I share my opinion on or have a play? You might, you might want to leave it down in the comments. Thank you very much, and I'll see you later. Bye!